So what's up guys, Red Cherry back here with another video. And today we're we're gonna be watching a Darman video called Curly Care Her <laughs> Oh my god. Curly hair haired kid teased at school. So yeah. Oh. So Oh F T Joni Jeffries. I like <laughs> not liking it just there yet. Yeah, I've only watched like two milliseconds of it yet, which is like zero seconds. Yeah. So, anyways, and pause. All right, Tony. This is your locker. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. First, of, first of all, why would you tease someone? That has curly hair. <gasps> to be honest, I kind of want curly hair. But it's pretty much straight. It's like curvy. Watch it! Oh, I'm so sorry! You just messed with the wrong lad. Who's this smoke with the freckled face? Um, my name's Tony. I just started here. Well, Tony. <laughs> You're not off to a very good start. Look at his scrawny little arms. Look at him. He's like a tweet. I mean, I think we could just like break him in half. Why? Um, is it just me or or are these kids speaking in a British accent? Which, which all I know is that is that all the only Darman character I I know that. That is British. It is was like the small was like the small teacher from another Darman video, bro. I said I was sorry. I didn't mean to. Teacher speckled hen who's boss. Give you one good reason not to knock you out right here. Because I'm smaller than you. Maybe you should pick on someone your own size. What are you saying? That I'm fat? That I'm big lads? No, I didn't mean it in a bad way. I am going to punch the freckles out of your face. Watch out, Max. Mr. Wilson's right there. I'm going to get in trouble again. You better watch your back. Next time, they won't be able to save you. And also, okay. If that, if that guy's, if, if he's... If, if, um, if that guy is, is bullying, is gonna bully Tony for curly hair, you gotta think twice about doing that, cause, cause you got curly hair, the person who's not Tony. Oh, there are freckles. There he is. Tea's almost ready. Tony, where you going? We want to hear about your first day of school. I don't want to talk about it. Well, then you're going to at least have supper with us. I'm not hungry. I'll go talk to him. Oh. <laughs> A big fish <laughs> Big fish Take it you had a bad day. It was fine. That look on your face is otherwise. <laughs> I made your favourite for dinner and you're not... Mommy, uh, some, some kid bullied me be, um, because I accidentally opened my locker but, um, and, and the door hit his back. Not even hungry. I hate this new school, Mom. I don't understand why we had to move. And I told you I'm not hungry. Ah, I see. I take it you didn't make any new mates today? No, just enemies. Enemies? You're a little too young for enemies, son. What happened? Oh, this kid, Max. I accidentally oh, Max. hit him with my locker. And now he says he's going to beat me up. He keeps calling me freckle face and saying he's going to rip me apart. Really? Uh-oh. 
I'm going to have to tell your dad about this. Please, Dad. Phil, would you come in here? I told you not to tell him. What's going on? Some lads at school were giving Tony a hard time. One tried to beat him up. Is that right? I'll let you two talk. Mom, you're right about Max being a lad. And Max is the mean... What are you going to do about it? Nothing. So He's bigger than me. Poster, Who cares about how big the other bloke is? Okay. You'd stand up for yourself. I would, but he'd knock me down in one punch. Then get back up on your feet. Look, it doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down. What matters is how you pick yourself back up again. But I've got noodles for lambs. Even if I got back up, I'd just get knocked right back down. Stand it up for yourself. It's not just about this. It's about this. you got to be smart. you got to have confidence in yourself. So what should I do next time Max messes? Why is he wear? Why is Tony wearing a suit? He, cause, uh, he the CEO somewhere, cause, cause it's weird that he's wearing a suit to school and keeping it on at home. With me. Time to stop and walk away. If he doesn't listen, I've got a few moves that can help you with that. Like boxing? Yeah, I told you when you were old enough, I was going to take you to Sunderland Boxing Club. On my Bobby Butte, you can teach you a few things. But for now, I'm going to teach you how to dodge a punch. So, I'm going to come in with the right. I want you to dodge the left. Here we go. Well, that's good. Nice. Now I'm going to come in with the left. I want you to try to duck this one. Nice. Good. Good. So I'm coming a bit faster now. This is fun. Are you going to teach me how to knock someone out? <laughs> I think that's for a lesson for Bobby to teach you another day. Let's just carry on with this for now, okay? We'll try and speed it up a little bit now. Here we go. That's good, Paul. Oh, good. Keep it going. Keep it going. This crap now fills me up. I'm still hungry. I could go for some dessert. Then go get some. Oh, I've got any money. I mean, you could always... <laughs> yeah. How is it going now, uh, freckle face? Excuse me, his name is Tony, not Freckleface. Found something you love on Amazon? I bet you I can find it cheaper. With the Capital One Better online shopping Tony. tool, you can... I love these! My mom used to pack them in my lunch every morning, but I'd eat them before I could even get to the bus. Nice story. If you want one, get your own. Nah. I want yours. Consider it payback for yesterday. I already told you, Max. It was an accident. Now leave me alone. Maybe I wasn't. Clean it up. That's mine. Are you mental? I can destroy you with my pinky. I'm not trying to fight you, Max. Then give me that. Otherwise, we can have a problem. It seems the new kid has to learn a lesson. I already told you, Max, not trying to fight. Too late, Spreckleface. Stop teasing him, Max. Get him. He's making you look like an idiot. Shut your gobs. Stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> Max, you really think Tony is going to stop moving? And the closet door is... Back to... Back to Darman. <laughs> Not so tough now, are you, Max? Be quiet and stop laughing! You know what, Max? If you want it so bad, yeah, right. have it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> dad, dad! Why is everybody wearing suits? Dad, I did what you showed 
What's going on? I stood up for myself. Oh, that's my boy. Oh, it was Max. He kept swinging, I kept talking, I kept dodging. He even started spinning. He had this blotty man look in his eyes too. Sounds like those boys were trying to hurt you. Should I tell the headmaster about this? No. I don't think he'll ever mess with me again after this. That's good, son. Come on, let's go home. Yeah. He's like, you want this? You can get it. Don't get so excited, Freckles. This is going to beat you after what you did to him. Yeah, you might be quick. But you're still squirming like a weasel. Next time, you won't be so lucky. <laughs> is everything OK? Not really. No matter what I do, there's always going to be someone to put me down. I'm guessing those lads aren't your friends. It's not going to stop. I'm always going to get picked on for my... <sighs> Why is it called curly-haired kid teased at school when they're not talking about his hair? They're talking about his freckles. My size. You're young. If it's size you're worried about, that can change. How's that? By training. I'm working really hard in the gym. You know, I know I've been teaching you how to dodge a punch, but I think it's time for you to meet Bobby. He can really teach you how to fight. Really? Yeah. Soon you'll be eating lads like that for breakfast. <laughs> But you gotta give you 100%. Boxing, it's not for those who are half interested in the sport. Of course. If I really wanna do this, I'm going to give it my all. With help from Bobby, you'll be a boxer in no time. I'm sure of it. Who knows? Bobby the boxer. The boxer. Trainer. Teacher. Coach. Sussy. Imposter. I might just be the greatest boxer this town's ever seen. Not town, son. Country. And then, let's see who has the guts to bully you then. <laughs> <laughs> From that moment on, Tony decides to dedicate himself to being the best boxer possible. Tony trained hard with his new trainer, Bobby, every day. Although Tony was small, he used it to his advantage to be quick and nimble. And it didn't stop him from throwing fast, hard punches. Hey, in Taekwondo, um, the my masters and instruct the masters and instructors hold that like that blocky thing right there, like yeah, this. Good. <laughs> Before long, he started competing. He knocked out boxer after boxer. We know you're hovering over that button, but we need your help. We have a better button, we promise. Right on. Oh, I wish I had YouTube Premium. And within a few years, he and became that, the number one three, boxer in England mom, for his dad, age bracket. Disagree. Then one day, Tony got the biggest news of his life. Mom? Dad? What is it? She's got a letter in the mail. Read it. They want us to represent England against Ireland. <laughs> he wasn't kidding. Tony! Oh, Congratulations! <laughs> oh my kidding. goodness. Gonna show the Irish who the real king is. <laughs> you have to like son. Good job. Give me jab. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> At 14 years old, Tony received one of the biggest honors any fighter could ever ask for. To represent his own country. This is what you trained for all your life. This is the biggest fight in your life. So you get all your go, okay? Four seconds out. <laughs> Tony, you can do it. When the fight happened, Tony came fully prepared and gave it everything he had. He exchanged blows and went many rounds with the Irish boxer. 
Both fighters were so skilled that neither one of them could knock the other one out. At the end of the rounds, everything came down to a final tally. And the judges decided the Irish boxer was the winner. Tony and his family were devastated. Yo, you have to be kidding me. His, his blood on his face and his shirt and everything. Yeah, he just needs a little more training. He'll be all right. Don't be too hard on him. I can't believe the living beers. We gave it the best you had, and that's all that matters. Even if still wasn't enough. I feel like I let the whole country go. No, you didn't, Tony. You didn't let anyone down. Can't believe I thought Tony would win. What a letdown. What do you expect? Just a lightweight, scrawny bloke. Let me be a real contender. Yeah, guess he was just a fluke. What a joke. Yeah. Hey, is that the behavior of a champion? I'm not a champion, I just lost. Tony. Hey, let me talk to him. Tony, being a champion, it's not always about winning or losing. It's about having the right attitude. If you saw what happened, how am I supposed to have a good attitude when the whole of England thinks that I'm a joke? I like to see them call you a joke to your face. Come on, let's be honest. I made a fool of myself tonight. Now people are laughing at us. I mean, it's just like school all over again. You know, maybe I'm just always going to be the scrawny, freckle-faced kid. <sighs> I should have just quit while I was ahead. No. Tony, even some of the best boxers in the world, they lose from time to time. You can't let that stop you. Hey, what did you say to me when we first started? That I wanted to be the best. Yeah. And you'll never be that. On this side, it's there's only like that on his ear. By quitting after losing one match. So what should I on do? This side, you keep fighting. It's completely because, like we've always talked about, it doesn't even matter how many times you get knocked down. What matters is how many times you pick yourself back up. Exactly. <laughs> See, I knew you were smart. Trust me, this is just the beginning for you. You're going to do great things. Thanks, buddy. Don't fall always blaming in me. Of course. I'm really proud of you. Now, come on, let's get dinner. And tomorrow, we start training again. <laughs> come on. Give me that. Yeah, come on, get your gloves, lad. And hey, training tomorrow, training tomorrow, training tomorrow. <laughs> Tony didn't know it yet, but his dad and Bobby were right. His boxing career was about to really take off. Tony continues to take down every opponent he faces and wins every match. By losing that big fight, it only motivated him to work harder and get better. Eventually, he goes on to become the European champion at the age of 16. And after years of hard work, he goes to the 2008 Beijing Olympics where he wins a medal in boxing. Tony's life completely changes, gaining the respect from people all around the world. He even meets the queen. After a long and successful career, Tony dedicates himself to helping other athletes. He teaches millions of people how to box on his YouTube channel and eventually opens a gym in Santa Monica, California, where he trains other boxers. Nice. Good. That's it. Look who it is. Well, if it isn't Max Taylor. <laughs> Tony Jeffries, the champ in the flesh, long time mate. Yes, what brings you to the States? Ah, we're on holiday. I figured while we're here, I'd pay you a visit. Blimey, you've come a long way, mate. Yeah, I'm not that scrawny kid from school anymore who we used to pick on. <laughs> yeah. Not too proud of those days. Really sorry for how I treated you. 
I'm sorry, mate, but we were just kids back then. Speaking of kids, who was this lad? That's oh, my son, Andrew. I've showed him some of your old fights. He's a huge fan. Maybe you could show him a few quick moves, huh? <laughs> Andrew? <gasps> Looks more like he's... Like he was Max. <gasps> I've got a minute. Let's see what you've got. Wait. R really? <laughs> All right, mate, I want you to hit this right here as hard as you can. Ready? Whoa, mate. If I was a bully at your school, I would definitely not be picking on you. Thanks, Mr. Jeffries. But a lot of kids have been making fun of me. Any advice you can give my son next time someone tries to bully him? Yes, get it taut and throw it in his face, just like I did with you, old man. <laughs> that did work, didn't it? No, but on a serious note, You've got to learn how to stand up for yourself. And if that doesn't work, speak to your teachers, speak to your headmaster. I've tried, but some of the kids aren't even my school. Well, you tell them to stop and walk away. And if that doesn't work, you're going to have to learn how to defend yourself. <laughs> you, you mean, like, fight back? What if they knock me down? Then you get back up on your feet. Because, you know, as my father used to say to me, it doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down, what matters is how you pick yourself back up again. Thanks, Mr. Jeffries. I, I love that. Uh, could you teach me how to throw a few punches? <laughs> how about I teach you how to dodge punches first? All right. Okay, when I throw my right, I want you to dodge to your left. When I throw my left, you're going to dodge to your right. Are you ready? Hey, Darman fam. I hope you guys like the message. I'm going to have my friend Tony tell us about his story. So when I was young, I got bullied. And one thing that I learned from this experience was never give up. And because I didn't give up, that's how I ended up achieving all I achieved in my life so far. So if I've got one message for you, it's don't give up. That's awesome. We love that. Thank you so much, Tony, for collaborating with us. And thank you guys for watching. And please remember, we're not just telling stories. We're changing lives. And we'll see you in the next video. Let's get back to Vinny. What's up, Gordo? Gordon. Is it okay if I can skip coach? I don't know if I can do it. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, subscribe to Darman and subscribe and subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Like I said, subscribe and. Anyways, have a good one.